I saw something that I found interesting. I don't know if you've taken a dive into this at all. The second round jinx for Dallas. And what I mean by that is only four of the last 18 players the Cowboys have taken in the second round have gone on to be signed to long-term commitments. Now, is there something you attribute that to specifically, or is it yes. more that it's it seems owner Jerry Jones likes to, you know, kind of take flyers in the second round on on guys with injury histories or just potential high upside guys? You said it. I mean, you you answered your question right there. That that's it. I think that is the underlying thing there. Of you know, they look at their Jerry's always looking at value. I, how can I get value? If you tell me this second round pick is is a first rounder, but he really because of injuries or whatever, he's in the second, I'm, you know, he's going to do it. And, and those guys you mentioned, one of them was Sean Lee. That very reason, Sean, Sean Lee was, I think the top 15, you know, player on their board that year, 2010. Um, DeMarcus Lawrence was a guy that, that was up there high as well. Um, just like Jalen Smith, just like, you know, Bruce Carter, a linebacker from a few years ago, torn ACL senior year, didn't play. So, they're looking for value all across the board. And, and I think they should tell you that it doesn't always work. I mean, other teams do their homework as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it just, it, it, sometimes it has, but I, you know, I think, you know, that approach really hasn't worked as well as they wanted to. Well, so I guess the natural follow-up there is, should they not do that? <laughs> you know, in, in round two, should, uh, you know, Jerry and company just be taking the best player available on, on their board and, and not be zeroing in on potential value? Ready to play would be my thing. Ready to play in 2021. If if he's fallen because of you know injuries or or whatever, um, you know that that's fine. But is he ready to play? Because some of those guys were not. They were they were almost like a redshirt season. They don't need that. They need number 44 in the second round. They need that guy to be able to play right now. Um, and so. This is especially if it's on defense. I mean, he, he he could come in and and play. So, you know, everyone laughed, not laughed, but but uh, Caleb Farley, I guess from Virginia Tech. You know, he's a guy that was r- right there in the top ten at cornerback with Sertan and maybe Horn, and then he had back surgery. They call it minor back surgery, but I, you know, what does Troy Aikman say? The only the only minor surgery is when it's not to you, you know what I mean? So a, a, a surgery is a big deal, especially on your back, but you know, they think he's going to be ready to go, but he will fall and he is falling in the draft where I don't know how far he'll fall, but man, that if he's sitting there in the second round, for some reason, if the Cowboys don't get a cornerback at number 10, Farley seems like the type of guy, you know, the Cowboys would want to trade for, and all. as long as they do their homework and all that kind of stuff, um, I could see the Cowboys maybe, looking at more bargains, but I think he's got to be a guy ready to play. Well, Nick, just to go full circle, I know, like we said, we don't talk weekly in the off season, but if you want to catch up next week and actually recap the draft and find out what it is that they did do and delve into that, we'll be here. Yeah. We'll we'll talk about the four picks they made because they did all these (laughs) trades. They got a receiver high, a tight end, all that stuff. I appreciate you tackling round one. I appreciate you not asking about Kyle Pitts. Uh, That was, that was uh, impressive because that's what the one everybody wants to talk about. Kyle Pitts, Kyle Pitts, but trying uh, to operate in realism over here. Thank you. <laughs> Real, realistically, he won't be there at 10. That's what he I won't. mean. Yeah, no. he, he won't. But, um, and you know, you got to remember too, Jerry Jones threw it out there. Oh, I love Kyle Pitts. That to me, he told me they're not taking them. They don't throw it out there on guys that they're going to take. I mean, Jerry say what you want about him and being a GM, whatever. He's a businessman and he knows he's not going to throw that out there. So I don't, I don't envision Kyle Pitts, Pitts being with the Cowboys. All right. Well, let's catch up next week when fi- we can find out who is, who will be and do it. Uh, dive, dive into that. See if they lay in that BA after all, after all they this. Need, talk, a BA. Good to me. <laughs> need, need that BA Nick Eatman from the Cowboys. Thanks very much. Thank you.